This sword, the rhema, belongs to the spirit. It doesn't belong to us. It's the spirit's sword. Here's what that means for, for us Christians as we try to use the rhema to knock away Satan's blows. Here's what it means. Wielding the sword means, requires yielding to the spirit. If you're a believer, the Holy Spirit of God indwells your life. But Christian, listen. We can quench the work of the Spirit in our lives through acts of, of disobedience. disobedience. To bear in any situation. Sins of commission. Sins We're of to omission. use the sword well. Doing what we should. We not doing yield. what we should. To the one. We can quench. We can grieve the Holy Spirit living within us. It's the Spirit that wills the rhema in this battle. Empowering us to bring the logos, the message of the gospel, to bear in any situation. And if we're to use the sword well, we must yield to the one who wills it. 